This is our house. They just started adding a roof. So we're going to walk up to the front door. I'm doing the four inch high platform heel Piggy Bundy walk just to illustrate the situation. Here's the front door. Entryway. If you look up, it's just open. This is where the chandelier will be and this is the overlook from the second story. If you go left, at an angle, is the office. It's a pretty decent sized office, very professional for whichever one happens to get the option to work from home while we have children. Here, off to the right, is the powder room. Downstairs, half bath, just a sink and a toilet. If you turn around, it's just the coat closet. And immediately outside is the garage. The garage is a two car wide garage with a tandem bay, so it'll actually fit three cars. It has a door out the back for convenience for garbage cans and getting outside, I guess. Walk back in the house and swing a right, a little bit farther into the entry, and here we enter the great room, the fireplace, gas fire, picture window out the back to our beautiful trees that will never ever ever go away because it's green space, our sliding glass door onto the back deck, we're still arguing about the deck so we don't know what size it's going to be, windows outside. This post and this post eventually will be extremely pretty and in between is going to be a large island. It will have our five burner gas stove top on it. This will be our kitchen. The refrigerator will be right about here. And moving towards the left is going to be our oven and our microwave. Everything will be in stainless steel. This is the pantry. It has a frosted glass door. There will be shelves all over the place and then a cute little walkie way and storage for people to hide in. And walk back out of the pantry. We're gonna turn the corner and we're gonna go up the stairs. up the stairs and on to the first landing. Up the second set of stairs on the turn. And to the right, I have deemed this room the nursery because it's closest to the stairs. It's extremely close to one of the bathrooms. So this room has two windows and this is where I'm going to put cribs and things for little children that we intend to have eventually, which is why we're building this big old house. And here is the upstairs main bath. This section is for the tub and the shower. And this will be a pocket door right here, so that way nobody will knock each other out trying to get to the sink or the tub or the shower. This will be the sink area. I don't remember if there's one or two sinks. This is another bedroom. Obviously it is blocked by large pieces of wood. And the sunshine is extremely bright and it has a west facing window and something of a smaller closet. I feel er sorry for everybody in their closets. I'm going to step over the wood and just kind of go around. Nick's gonna bang into things because that's what Nick does. And here's an angled door. And off to the right is another bedroom. This one my mother has decided is the guest room because it has a pretty view. I think that's true, that's a good idea. Here's a closet for this room. You look outside, 
And this is the view, bunches of trees. Look to the right, you see some houses. Look down, you see our drop off and retaining wall. Look to the left, you see some more houses. But yeah, these trees will never go away. They are dedicated green space park area. Keep on going. Down the hallway. Swing a left. And this is the laundry room. And it is a really cool laundry room. It's ginormous and it has a big old sink to wash your delicates in. And we get, well, we would get a free washer and dryer, but we already have a really cool one. So we rejected it and we're just getting the credit for that. But. And here is some sort of featurey situation. They have um, somewhere where you can put a painting if you have a painting that size. So I suppose we're going to have to buy some art. We don't have any of that. And this is a master bedroom. This thing is stupid big. It's amazing. Our king size bed will not overwhelm it like it does our current bedroom. We wouldn't have it any other way though because it is the best bed on the planet. This is Nick's walk-in closet. Inevitably, I will get some of this walk-in closet, but he just has to accept that. He married me, he knows how many shoes I own, so he's just gonna have to make way. It's not my fault. It's an addiction, it's a disease. This is the framing for our jetted tub. Nick couldn't have it any other way. He had to have a jetted tub or a hot tub. And I said jetted tub because hot tubs, I think, are more expensive to run. Uh, this is the crazy toilet closet. I'm terrified of these little things. It also has a pocket door. I don't really... I mean, it'll be convenient if you want to take a bath and you don't want to hear somebody go to the bathroom, but certainly they are a little scary. This is where the sink will be. And this one is my walk-in closet, which is great because I get up way earlier than Nick. So for me to be able to pick out my clothes and do all of my bathroom things in the same area without disturbing him is a really, really nice thing for our marriage. And here comes Nick in the frame. And now we walk back down the hall. We have the stairs to the right and we'll just do one more room, the bonus room. This is the bonus room. We have not yet decided if this is the room or if the video games are going to be in the main living room. Not sure which will be better, but I imagine before we mount anything to walls, we should figure that out. So this one's a pretty good sized room. And um, yeah, so this is our house and we're very excited about the situation.